Sashin Hausa na BBC ke magana akan mita 21 da 25 da mita 31 ko a shafin mu na bbchausa.com. Ba saurare assalamu alaikum rabi'a ta kabarin ka ce ke fatan kun waye gari lafiya. A cikin shirin namu na karfe 6 da rabi a gogon Najeriya da Niger bai da rabi a gogon GMT da Ghana za ku ji cewa masu zanga zanga nuna goyen baya ga Palestina a Amerika na fuskan tabbara zana jami'an tsaro. Donald Trump ya ce alƙalin da ke jagoran ta shari'a sa a New York mara adalci ne. A Najeriya babban jam'iyyar Hamayya ta kasar wato PDP ta yi kakkausar suka ga gwamnatin kasar ta jam'iyyar APC game da karin albashin da gwamnatin ta yi. Halin da kasa ta shiga a yau a ƙarƙashin mulkin wa'annan mutanen shekaru 9 a tarihin Najeriya. Ya sanya ƴan Najeriya sun koma cikin halin haƙulai, sun koma mabarata, sun koma mayunwata. Masana sun ce sakatun gwamnatin Najeriya ne kan tabarbarewar mahalli ya jefa kasar cikin matsalar tsaron da kasar ke fuskanta. Illoli yawanci na rashin tsaron nan da kake gani yau suna faruwa ai suna da dangantaka ne da tabarbarewar mahalli. Gwamnati ta kita hasko wa kanta wannan abu da makiyaya da manuma ana ta rigima. to amma kafin waɗannan da mawa su rahotannin sai na fara da karanto muku labaran duniya. Yan sanda a California sun yi wa masu zanga zanga nuna goyen baya ga Palestinawa barazana su watse ko su kama su. A wajen makarantar daliban sai ƙara taruwa suke domin ƙara jadda da goyen bayan su. Zanga zangar adawa da yakin da ake a Gaza na ƙara kamariya Amurka. Chanting, saying hands off Rafa, calling for a ceasefire now. Saying, Wakili at BBC touch it. Alaban not like a hand loose and upper to chew a dark at the Kahara Hare Arapa, a Kumasagaita, which are about Palestina, why ancient Sioux. Sugarbank a circle, Columbia, Gustavo Petro, Yachi, Zekas, a do what a hood diplomacy at the kiss a canon, a sarsa, the Israel, a curry kitchen Gaza. Our Dungan Gamir ran a rama, a catata duni, a yabby, and a gumnet and bang a bin nutting Yahoo, the make his hanky as she. Minister Harkokin wajen Israila ya ce matakin Mr. Petro bai dace da abin da Hamas ta aika ta ba na yin fade da kisan kiya shi ga farar hula a ranar 7 ga watan Oktoba. Dubun dubatar masu zanga zanga a gaban ginin majalisar dokokin kasar Georgia ne suka nuna turjiya dukkan amfani da hayaki mai sa hawaye da ruwan zafi da yan sanda suka yi kansu. People are refusing to disperse, so they're moving out of the area if they're being hit. Wa yili ar BBC ta ce mutanen sun ki watsewa inda suke fita wajen ginin bayan yan sanda sun sanya masa hayaki mai sa hawaye bayan wani dan lokaci kuma su sake komawa. Masu zanga zanga sun tare ne domin nuna adawa da matakin majalisar na amincewa da dokar da masu suka. Suka ce za ta iya shafa tarihin bakin haure a kasar. To labaran duniya na zuwa muku ne daga nan sashin Hausa na BBC. Donald Trump ya bayyana wadan da zan mago ya bayan sa a wajen kamfan cewa alƙalin da ke jagoran ta shari'a sa a New York bai da adalci. The judge by the way is the most conflicted person in the history. I don't think there's ever been a more conflict. Ya ce alƙalin ya fi kowa rudani a tarihi bani tunanin akwai wani alƙali mai cike da rashin adalci irin sa. A ranar talata ne aka ci tare tsohon shugaban Amurkar Donald Trump tare da yi masa barazana daure a gidan yare idan har ya ci gaba da maganganu marasa dadi kan alƙalai da kuma shaidu. Kamfanin Apple ya ce yana kokarin ganin ya shawo kan matsalar da ke hana wasu daga cikin wayoyin sa buga ƙarauraruwar ta da masu amfani da wayar daga bacci. Babu tabbacin mutane ne wannan marin ya shafa wanda ke haifar da dogon bacci ga masu amfani da wayoyin wasu daga cikin waɗanda lamarin ya shafa sun ta korafi a shafukan sa da zamanta to ƙarshen labaran duniyar kenan daga nan sashin Hausa na BBC to majalla bayan labaran duniyar yanzu kuma sai rahotanni yan sanda a California sun yi wa masu zanga zanga nuna goyen baya ga Palestina barazana su watse ko su kama su a wajen makarantar daliban sai ƙara taruwa suke domin ƙara jadda da goyen bayan su yayin da ake ci gaba da zanga zanga nuna rashin amincewa da yakin da ake yi a zirin Gaza a jami'o'in da ke fadin kasar Amurka ga dai rahotar Raliya Zubairu Ga dukkan alamu halin da ake ciki a harabar jami'ar ta UCLA kan iya rinca bewa yayin da aka tura da ƙarin jami'an yan sanda ha kuma mahukuntan jami'ar sun sake yin kira ga masu zanga zangar da su fice 
ko kuma a kama su sai dai ana cika bada samun karin dalibai dake taruwa a wajen jami'ar domin nuna rashin amincewa da yakin da ake a zirin Gaza sun kuma daga shewa suna yin Allah wadai da mamayar da aka yi wazirin Gaza a lokacin da aka turo da karin jami'an sanda Sai ofishin gwamnatin jihar California ya ce ciki ɗan sanda game da matakin da suka dauka wajen kwanta da tarzoma da tabarki a cikin jami'ar ta California da ke Los Angeles. An dai samu su mutane da ke goyen bayan Isra'ila da suka rufe fuskokin su da suka kai hari a sansanin da dalibai da ke goyen bayan Palestinawa suka kafa a cikin harabar jami'ar. Ofishin gwamnatin ta bakin kakakin sa ya ce jinkirin da aka fuskanta da kuma rashin daukar kokarin mataki daga bangaren ɗan sanda abu ne da ba za a lamunta da shi ba. Ya kuma nemi a hukunta wadanda suke da alhaki. Fadar White House ta ce ana cika bada sanar da shugaba Biden game da zanga zangar da ake yi a wasu sassan kasar. Yayin wani tare mani mai labarai mai magana da yawan Fadar White House, Karen John Pe, ta dora alhakin zanga zangar akan dalibai ɗan tsiraro. Students have the right to feel safe. They have the right to learn. They have to write the right to do this without distraction. Da ji hakin a tabbatar da tsarin lafiya su tare da ba su damar daukar darasa kuma yi karatu ba tare da wata tangar da ba kuma abin da muke gani shine wasu ɗan tsiraro ne ke haka kuma bai kamata su kawo cika su karatun dalibai ba. Ana da ya ci gaba da matsawa shugabannin jami'o'i Lamba da su jajirci wajen daukar matakin dakile zanga zangar da dalibai masu goyen bayan Palestine ke yi yayin da zanga zangar da suke yi ke ba zuwa a fadin kasar rahotan da Raliya Zubairu ta hada mana kenan to muna ka muku wadannan rahotanni ne daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC a Najeriya babban jam'iyyar Hamayya ta kasar wato PDP ta yi kakausar suka ga gwamnatin kasar ta jam'iyyar APC game da karin albashin da gwamnatin tai da cewa wani mataki ne na an yi ba ai ba jam'iyyar PDP ta ce an yi karin albashin ne yayin da jama'an Najeriya ke ta fama da matukar tsadan man Peter da tsadar kayan abinci da dai sauran matsalolin da suka haifar da tsadar rayuwa ga dai karin bayani kan martanin na jam'iyyar PDP daga bakin Ibrahim Abdullahi muqaddishin jami'inta na huda da jama'a na kasa a hirar sa da Abdul Salam Ibrahim Ahmed karin albashin abu ne wanda muke ce ma an baka da dama an hanshe da hagu domin halin da kasa ta shiga a yau a karkashin mulkin wayannan mutanen shekaru 9 a tarihin Najeriya ya sanya yan Najeriya sun koma cikin halin haƙulai sun koma mabarata sun koma mayunwata sun koma fuskanta mumunan rashin tsaro to annaci da halin haƙulai da kasa ta shiga da munanan duk abubuwan da zaka idan ga tunani a kasar nan saboda ka koda an yi karin halabashi ba ma kallon karin ya isa ya kawo ma jama'a maslaha ko sawaba a cikin halin da suka shiga na hunci na kariyar tattalin arziki da sauran su abin da shi ma'aikaci yake tunanin zai samu a gwamnati ba kawai a kara halabashi a cikin mumunan hali ba sanda hauhawan kayan abinci da farashin kayan masaruhi suka kai halin haƙulai wannan kari da kai masa bai iya sayen masa kashi goma na abin da yake sayen mashi ada saboda haka ba kai wani kari ba shi gaba ne na mai shiga rijiya yana ta yi kawai gashi yana tafiya kasa to amma baka gani wannan wani mataki ne ita gwamnatin tarayyar Najeriya ta fara bi dan nuna cewar tana sane da koke-koken ma'aikatan nan to wai don ka yi karin albashi amma kafin ka yi ka kawo hauhawan kaya abinci ka kawo karewan darajar naira da kai kari da shi ka kawo rashin tsaro a kasa wanda ma'aikaci karan kanshi yana tsoron inuwansa to me ya kamata a yi na dai shine da a tanadi tsaro a kasa saboda manoma su koma gonakin su su noma abincin da kasar nan za ta samu ya wadata domin a samu saukin abinci na biyu jaye tallafin man Peter wanda ya haifar da wannan mumunan hauhawan kayan abinci yau man Peter a kasar nan ana tsayin shi a naira 1400 a wasu wuraren kuma ma babu abin da suka tabbatar muna da zara an jaye wannan tallafin man zai wadata domin gwamnati za ta bar yan kasuwa su yadda suka ga dama da sauran su yau gashi na muna cikin halin haƙulai to amma ita gwamnati ta iya kallon waɗannan bayanai na ko kamar magana ce ta hamayya kawai to idan ka kalle shi haka na magana na hamayya sai ta fito ta fada muna me take son mu yi mu fito mu yaba mata na cewa tana muguna mata lakawan kasar nan tana sa Najeriya koma baya cikin halin kangi da bakin ciki da kunci son take mu fito mu taba mata mu ce gwamnati kin yi kokari kuma alwacin da mu muka yi da talakawa na cewa za mu bi biyan al'amura na gwamnati 
inda aka saba musu zamu fito mu yi magana shi kuma ina alƙawalin ya kwana to amma wannan matsala ce da ake ganin ta samu asali tun zamanin mulkin PDP da me ya faru a lokacin ina ganin Najeriya da ake ciki kenan wanda ake neman PDP yanzu ta dawo da total da rana ana neman musabi wanda ya mulki a PDP na ƙarshe Gullock Jonathan tsohon shugaba cewa ya dawo da tsari na gudanar da mulki irin nashi ya dawo yanzu ana neman shi a sadda ya bar bukun shinkafa naira dubu shida yau da ina ganin kusan naira dubu tasa in kake sanin shi a lokacin da ya bar bukun taki naira dubu daya da yan kai yau baka samun taki ma da dubu 10 suminti yana musali naira dubu biyu yau baka samun bukun suminti a naira dubu 10 wannan shine Najeriya da aka bari da, da sauran abubuwan da bamu bukatan sai mun tsaya muna yake daddagen su a kasar nan Ibrahim Abdullahi kenan makaddashin jami'in hudda da jama'a na jam'iyyar PDP na kasa a Najeriya Ra'ayi riga kowa da irin tasa Amma kwannan ne gwamnatin Najeriya ta yi wa ma'aikatan kasar ƙarin albashi da kaso 25 da kuma 35 cikin 100. Jin kadan da wannan sanarwar ne kungiyar kwadagon kasar ta yi shuri da wannan ƙari tana mai cewa an yi shi ne ba da sanin su ba. A yayin da kwamitin da aka kafa domin cimma matsaya kan ƙarin albashin bai kammala aikin sa ba. Ina son masu saurare su san cewa musamman ma'aikata wannan abin da shugaban kasa ya furta kyauta ne a gaba su an sheka amma kuma mu za mu ci gaba da tattauna wa nan tabbatar da cewa mun samu musu albashi mafi kananta. To shin ko wannan ƙari ya wadatar menene ra'ayin ma'aikatan akan hakan ko ina makomar ma'aikatan jihohi da yake ƙarin na tarayya kawai ya shafa Batutu wanda muke fatan dubawa kenan a filin mu na ra'ayi riga na wannan makon To sai ku turo mana da ra'ayoyinku a hanyoyin da aka saba Gwamnatin jihar Sokoto da ke arewa maso yi mutun Najeriya ta ce ta karbi yara kanana da akai safarar su daga jihar zuwa Abuja a ranar talata ne rundunar ɗan sanda Abuja ta ce ta kama wata jami'ar ɗan sanda mai makamin mataimakiyar superintendent da wata mata da ake zargin sun sato yaran da shekarun su ba su fi biyar ba cikin hadda jaririya mai makonni biyu Dr. Jabir Sani mai hula commissioner Lamara Adin na jihar Sokoto shine ya bi sawun yaran har zuwa Abuja bayan kwarmata masa matar da aka gani a tashar Sokoto dauke da yaran da ake zargi ba na ta bane ga kuma karin bayanin da yawa awal Ahmad Janyau kan yadda suka karbi yaran da halin da suke ciki yaran da ni gani guda uku ne babban ita ita ce ta ce min sunanta Asma'u sannan kuma jutin kanana ba su san ko sunan su ba su iya fadi to sai na sai na sai na sanar da mai girma gwamna cewa ga abin da ake ciki nan take sai ya kira ni a ce to yadda za a yi zai iza commissioner of police na Sokoto a uh, ya tabbata cewa an kawo yaran a Sokoto da isu da wani suka kama su uh, aka iza wajen police commissioner kuma yayi magana da shi police commissioner na Abuja kuma aka iza mutane jiya da sauyi suka zo Abuja suka karbi yaran yaran sun biyo jirgi an sai musu ticket sun iso Sokoto to kamar ya kuka samu yaran misali da suka zo hannun gwamnati eh so yaran da suka sauko an fara wucewa da su asibiti ne a diba lafiya su Uh, a sai idan likitoci sun tabbatar da lafiyar su kalau ko kuma in suna bukatar wata kulawa an an ba su wannan kulawan sanan za a kawo su a danka su ga mai girma gwamna uh, wanda shi kuma zai danka su ga sauran da iyalan su to kamar ya za ku bayyana girman wannan matsala ta fataucin yara ko satan yara haka da ake zargi babu shakka wannan matsala ce mai girma sosai wadda wannan abin ba karmin nasara bane uh, kuma ba karmin jawo hankali bane ga na farko iyaye da su kula da ƴaƴan su kanana su babban irin wa'annan yaran tsakanin da Allah bai kamata a ce an ba su har su nufita waje an dauke su ba a sani ba sannan kuma kira ne ga mutanen unguwa su ma su dibi bakin fuskoki da ke shigowa unguwannin su da kuma yare da suke gani sannan a gefen hukuma kuma wannan lalle babban kira ne babban fadakawa ne na cewa za a ƙara zabura wajen tabbatar da an ƙara samun tsaro a cikin a cikin gari cewa ai wa'annan abubuwan an takile a kowa su a gaba insha Allah ita wadda ake zargi din tana hannun yan sanda a Abuja ko an dawo da ita Sokoto a wadda ake zargi an dawo da ita Sokoto tana hannun yan sanda kuma za a shiga shari'a da ita yadda yadda hukunci ya bayar insha Allah da doka ta tanada Dr Jabir Sani mai hula kenan commissioner Lamara Addini na jihar Sokoto 
to yanzu karfe 7 ne saurayi minti 16 a jihar Sokoton Najeriya haka kuma lokacin yake a Jamhuriyar Niger shi da saura 16 agogon GMT da Ghana Rabi ta kabar ranka cike gabatar maku da shirin safe kai tsaye da ganin sashin Hausa na BBC za ku iya sauraron mu kai tsaye a shafin mu na internet wato bbchausa.com inda za ku iya karanta labaran da muka wallafa maku Akwai ma kan yan mata da ke bijirewa taliban akwai kuma bidiyon daga bakin mai ita tare da bilki mai abinci ta shirin dadin kowa To tun a farkon shirin kunji cewa masu zanga zanga nuna goyen bayan Palestina Amurka na fuskantar barazanar jami'an tsaro